It's 8.15 in the morning as my friend Tom and I hit I-85 South heading for the CSX Lineville subdivision for a very unique train. We arrived just as the sun starts to peek out of the clouds at Standing Rock, Alabama. A clear signal lights up at CP North End Standing Rock for train K42318 with Ferromex SD70ACE4015 on the point. They also have BNSF ES44C4-8358, BNSF ES44DC-7889, and CSX AC44CW-113 trailing behind it. usually don't get to see any Ferromex units this far from their home terminal, especially when assigned to a train out of Illinois. K423 is a loaded ethanol train coming from the Canadian Pacific Railway in Bensonville, Illinois, bound for Tampa, Florida. Although they're supposed to run through Atlanta, they were routed via Birmingham, traveling across the SNNA North and Lineville subdivisions heading towards Manchester, Georgia. chase them south back into Georgia right as they were reaching LaGrange. They would swap crews there before proceeding into Manchester. The crew obviously knew they were going to be famous. As K423 was swapping crews, 
we hear on the radio, train Q645 had gone into emergency, blocking the main line between South LaGrange and campground siding. The CSX AF dispatcher then talks to Q143, who was sitting at South LaGrange, about proceeding south and to stop north of the milepost ANJ 803. 8469, 84690. All right, 8190, day 3 2020, location ANJ 814. Stop 1, train ID to Q14318. Engine CSX 3363, BOX, copy circle line to lift. Other restriction information do not exceed restricted speed between the milepost 803.0 and the milepost ANJ 801.5. Count previous train to emergency. Works from 81059, JRK. Alright, 1059 JRK. Alright, signal so coming to you guys here. Just let me know where y'all uh, end up then. Alright, will do. Appreciate it. Alright, guys, same thing. Stretch out. With the signal given to Q143, they were on the move south, while Q645 was in the process setting out their bad car near campground. was now all about the waiting game, as K-423 now approaches South LaGrange, coming to a stop until the line is cleared ahead of them. About an hour and a half passes by, and here came train Q-606-19, who was running on shorter time than the K-423 crew that had just swapped out. Q606, with its lengthy power consist, runs out of New Orleans, Louisiana daily, passing through the areas of Mobile and Montgomery, Alabama, LaGrange, Georgia, Manchester, Fitzgerald, and finally, its termination point in Waycross.
with a sign that the main line has opened back up. The K423 was then given a signal behind Q606. Thus began our chase again. There aren't very many accessible crossings between LaGrange and Manchester, so we leapfrogged all the way to Warm Springs at the Juke Line Road grade crossing, where we managed to get ahead of Q606.
K423 was slowly following right behind, with no other place to sit around and wait for a route into Manchester, since Q645 was taking up the sighting at campground. Their only option was to stop short of the Warm Springs signal clearing the Durand Highway crossing behind them. We skipped ahead one more time before reaching Manchester at the Judson Bullets Road grade crossing. With things starting to clear up, they could enter Manchester Yard to swap out with the Fitzgerald sub crew. Tom and I ended our chase here and had to start heading back north towards home. But we had a little bit of spare time left, as we heard Q601 was going to depart Manchester behind K423. We stopped and waited at Stovall, Georgia, a place I've been wanting to shoot at for a long while, as the rebuilt CM44AC leads the train bound for New Orleans.
that's going to do it for us. Make sure you drop this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's content, and post your feedback in the comment section below. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and double check to see if that notification bell is turned on. See y'all next time from Stovall, Georgia at milepost ANJ805.1 along CSX's Lineville subdivision.